Hello guys, I feel like I owe you guys an explanation. Um, today is uh, February 9th and um, I'm back home right now. I got home from work, I'm going to my sister's house now. We're gonna go see 50 Shades Freed at 7.30. Um, I haven't vlogged in a while. Like it's been quite some time that I haven't vlogged. The vlogs that are uh, that are up are older vlogs. So if you guys like looked in the description, they're from January, like mid January. So I really haven't vlogged in a while. Ooh, oh, yeah. So I haven't vlogged in a while. Um, basically, Andre and I broke up, and yeah, I guess things just it didn't work out. Um, I wanted to make it work. We broke up like in the middle of January and then we got back together and then we broke up again like a week or two weeks later after that. Um, we were supposed to check back in at the end of February to see how everything's going but after the first time he was just like, he was pretty much already done. And yeah, so that's just what's happening. I then signed up for OK Cupid. Since then, since we officially broke up yet again, which was, I don't know, I don't know, but like last week or something, I don't have time to waste. Like I am 26 going on 27 this year. I don't have time to waste and I don't want to waste any time. Like I get upset if I think about it, but I don't want to think about it. I want to just like keep going and by talking to other people, <laughs> like it's, not making me forget because I still have moments where I will think about it, but you know, I'm moving on. You know, I, I really don't have like time to be wasting and it's not like whatever next relationship I am in, it's not like a rebound, it's just that I'm getting old. I need to find somebody and this keeps me busy at the same time, you know, so I don't have to think about anything. That definitely makes it a lot easier. I also just found a note in my pocket. The kids were like passing it around. I don't even know what this says. But I'm kind of interested in what this says right now. Do, do, do. I had to cover a circle today with the kiddos. And it was like actually a lot of fun. We had a really, really good time. Oh my gosh. What does this say? <laughs> oh my god. This was a note from one of our sixth grade girls. And it says, would you like to go out? <laughs> And then it has a yes or no, and then it says, tell me when you go home, tell me when we go home or now. <laughs> Nobody circled anything. I don't know if I actually got to anybody. Um, who had this? I forgot who had it, but oh my gosh, it's crazy. My sixth graders are dating too, guys, apparently. <laughs> so funny. So great. So anyway, I don't really want to like get down into like the details of why me and Andre broke up, but we did. I just, I don't want to talk about it. Like things happened. We used to fight quite a bit and I realized things later on that I was doing that I didn't realize I was doing after the first time we broke up and I fixed all that. Like that's not the person I wanted to be and I didn't know that I was doing those things. And I wasn't doing them intentionally, but like I didn't know. It's just, I don't know. So, um, yeah, anyway, uh, la la la, I had a date yesterday. <laughs> it was so funny. So I signed up for OK Cupid and I had a date yesterday. And this guy, he's, um, what is he? He's 27 going on 28. And <laughs> it was so funny, guys. We went to the park, we watched the sunset. And I got like excited, you know, I was like walking on like those rock things and everything and like jumping or whatever And then there was like this little cute area where I just wanted to sit and watch the sunset He had his camera and he was just like taking photos. He's into photography, but um, I got like all excited and I ran to that thing and not realizing there was ice on the floor and I wiped out so bad guys flat on my tushy and I like hurt my wrist because then I like tried to catch myself with my hands and I hurt my wrist like on the ice too uh, or like rather my hand because it was like right here um but it was so funny he was like <laughs> like he just stood there like and he was like oh my god are you okay but it, we just like laughed about it. it was hilarious and then we had dinner later and we went and got sushi and oh my god guys I can't believe I even did this I 
guess I was nervous like you know most people are on first dates or whatever and I guess I was nervous but like I had a drink and I w went to like drink it and literally pour it all the way down and I had like a napkin down here so the first time I did it yes guys I did this twice yesterday I was like so embarrassed I was like oh my god how is this happening right now but the first time my napkin caught it the second time my napkin and my shirt caught a little bit of the drink that I spilled it but like I literally put it to my face and somehow I missed my mouth it was like I had a hole in my mouth yesterday or something and I missed my mouth and it just like spilled I probably spilled like a quarter of my drink every single every every time I did it and that was two like two times it was just <laughs> we laughed about it so it wasn't like it wasn't like oh my god this guy's never gonna want to see me again it was just that we laughed about it it was funny and it was it was just so great <laughs> <laughs> anyway guys, I am just um, not thinking about stuff. I am having fun at the same time, or trying to. Um, or actually, I am, because I actually am having fun and I'm keeping myself busy, whether it's with school and whatever, and we had, I had a really busy school week this week too, and I'm just like keeping myself busy so I don't have time to like sit down and like think and reanalyze everything in my head. Because that is something that I do. If I have the time, I will sit there playing everything I did wrong or that I didn't do that I should have done like or I should have said or just should have done differently like I will replay everything in my head and I'm not gonna do that so I'm like I'm totally fine though when I'm not thinking about it like I'm all good you know I'm um, looking for the next match I guess in my life and I guess we're gonna see how everything goes I'm not like dating somebody to tell them like they're my husband next but like I'm dating people trying to find out where things go and whatever so Eventually whenever that leads to anything if it does I will show you guys the one camera I tell everybody straight up that I am a vlogger and that I vlog my daily life So I'm making that very clear so that one day they'll be in vlogs shouldn't get anywhere But trying to get everything like out there on the table very clear what I want what I do um, and just everything <laughs> get it all out there so that there's no issues uh, later on because sometimes you'll end up dating somebody for like two or three years or four years for that matter and then later on at the end of it you find out that they don't they don't want the same things as you do you guys don't have the same goals you guys are not on the same wa wavelength and then it's just like it sucks but it has to be like goodbye if you want those things and you don't want to give them up you know because there's certain things that I know that I want that are like deal breakers for me and you know, so I'm not going to waste my time dating somebody that is just not going to work out, you know, but at the same time, I'm not going to be like, oh my God, you're my future husband, like whatever. I was also supposed supposed to have another date tonight, but that one ended up getting canceled because they had an emergency with their uh, mom or something. So that one will actually be rescheduled. I also had another one and that one, the guy just never texted me like where to meet afterwards. Like we set up a time that I would meet him like the next day at 3.30 or whatever. And they just never told me where. And I was just like, okay, whatever. Well, that one is completely done. I'm not gonna like, I hate when people cancel on me. And if you're not giving me a reason, why am I gonna give you another chance, you know? So this other person though, that was today, they had like an actual emergency. So I'll probably still see that guy at some point but i'm back in the dating world that's what's happening in my life right now but yeah so if you guys are wondering why i haven't vlogged it's just because of like everything that's been happening lately but i'm finally ready to talk about it and it's good but i really have to go now because it is like 609 the movie's at 7 30 i have to get all the way to my sister's house and i still have to raid her fridge for food because i haven't eaten dinner and i am actually pretty hungry right now Made it to my sister's house. She just keeps just changing things. She got like new furniture in her beauty room. What is happening in here? I see pizza done right there. Ooh, making some garlic bread. Getting a whole face. Oh, she got her chairs. I don't love them, but whatever. That's what she likes. Um, I don't know what that the the thing the uh, la da la la the ladder is doing in there. Um, you guys have seen all this so and everything. So. <sighs> I wish I had like a nice big kitchen like this. I wish, I wish. One day guys, one day. Hashtag goals. Tomorrow. Guys, the movie yesterday was amazing. It was like relationship goals from Fifty Shades Freed. So if you guys have not seen it, definitely see it. It was really, really good. And the ending was definitely similar to the book. I don't remember the book fully, but um, from what I do remember, it pretty much sounds like the book. Oh, also watching um, When in Rome right now on TV. 
such a good movie. It's hilarious. And it only shows two stars out of four for some unknown reason. I don't know why, but really, really, really good movie. So you guys should definitely watch One in Rome whenever you get a chance. Are we turning it off? Are we going? Leave it off now. Oh, I thought we were going already. Is it time to go? It's 141. We're taking the train at two o'clock and then we're gonna go take our macaron picnic class in the city. We're gonna have so much fun. I'm so excited. The next day. And I'm back home. This is like a vlog of three days and one vlog. But after yesterday, after we did the macaron class, I don't know if I showed you guys the macarons because they turned out amazing. I actually didn't show you guys. I showed my Insta story. You guys really need to follow me on Insta stories if you don't already. I will show you guys quickly my Insta story right now so that you guys can see and be a little bit caught up. Um, I don't know. I just, I haven't really been vlogging. I've been doing Insta stories here and there. Still not consistent with that, but I, if I do Insta stories, I don't end up doing it in a vlog, which I normally would. I'm just trying to find myself and all of this stuff again with everything that's happened, but it's all good. Let me show you guys the Insta story. I had a lot of fun with this macaron baking class. As soon as this loads, I will show you guys. So let's go. All right, here, me, my sister, and her fiance. We're waiting for the train. Here was the first step. We are making um, like the sugar kind of thing. We had to wait till it reaches a certain temperature. Sorry guys, that's another person I might see. Uh, macaron baking. Here we were whipping it up and I was pouring this sugar. You had to pour it like down the side of the bowl so it doesn't cook the eggs and you had to like whip up the eggs. Sorry guys again. <laughs> Um, here we're looking at um, the stiff peak so if you turn off turn the bowl over it shouldn't fall out my sister mixing here we had a lot of fun with this class guys it was so much fun it was only 80 bucks on Groupon so I definitely recommend um, finding a Groupon deal all right then here this is me piping my macarons I know professional right here not really but it's all good <laughs> I learned some tips and stuff with this too so that helped also Okay, then here's the next one. Look at the macaron success, guys. They all look perfect. We actually worked on the brown batter. This is us at the end. So we worked on the brown batter. And I'm telling you guys that because, because our batter actually had the best looking feet um, for macarons. And everyone else, like, they were, they were there, but they weren't, like, the best looking ones. I will show you guys again, like, what I mean. So these little ruffle things. Oh, let, me, let it load. Oh, hold on. Let's go back again. These little ruffle things on the bottom, like, look how, see, this one's getting a little hollow, but ours were, like, pretty much perfect. And we worked on the chocolate batter the whole time we did the mixing part, and that's, like, the part you, have, you like, struggle with the most because you don't want to overmix and you don't want to undermix. So I was, like, really proud of us. Then we went to Bear Burger after that, best burger ever, and then I saw this, like, couple dancing at Penn Station. They were so cute. They got moves, guys. They seriously got some moves. It was so fun watching them. And that's it for my Insta story. I actually also forgot to show in my Insta story, but after yesterday, after we went to, after we made macarons, after we went to Bear Burger, we went to Cookie Dough because everything was in the same area. So we went to the macaron place called Mill Wheel. I don't know how to say it. I'm definitely butchering that, and that's fine. Um, but I'm also going to show you guys the macarons in person in, ca in case you guys don't believe me. Okay. So, again, macarons. Oh, well, that didn't do much. Look, guys. Look at the amazing macarons. You guys see it? They look awesome. Then I have an extra bag because they didn't all fit in the box after we made them because we've each made 24. So then I have this baggie of macarons as well. And like I told you guys, we went to the cookie dough place after and I got three scoops of cookie dough. I got um, confetti. I got heavenly. And I forgot what the other one was, but I got three flavors, and this should last me about a week or so. Um, I also realized that this cookie dough place is actually not that far from work, so if I ever, ever want to go after work, it's only like a 20-minute subway ride from me, which is not terrible. I mean, it's still a little bit of time, but I'm in the city, and I'm not like all the way uptown or anything to have to go get it, which is really nice. I'm already like downtown. It's just, you know, subways in the city. They still take a while, so... 
I don't know. Uh, that would be fun. I'm actually going to have some cookie dough right now also. But yeah, I had I had a really good weekend. The guy that I was talking to um, that I saw last week, he's like ignoring me right now. He was on OkCupid and I saw him that he was online, but he's like ignoring my text messages, but whatever. I'm talking to like some other people. So yeah, and then I'm waiting for the date that I was supposed to have on Friday, which is being set up by my sister and her fiance. Um, I'm really looking forward to that. Like, I think it's probably one of the guys I really want to meet right now. Um, only because, one, they know him. Number two, I've heard some amazing things about him. I haven't seen his photo yet or anything, so I really don't know, like, anything. Um, but I'm, like, excited. You know, I've heard great things about him. I'm excited. They know him, so it's, like, not, like, a stranger. And I was literally looking forward to seeing him on Friday. He just had an emergency, so. He seems really sweet, though, from what I've heard and um stuff so i'm really looking forward to meeting this new guy um he's been watching my vlogs too <laughs> which i was like oh my god he's watching my vlogs like i haven't vlogged it forever and my vlogs are so backlogged so it technically looks like me and andre you know um are still together in my vlogs even though we are not anymore and that's fine i am ready to move on um i think he might be ready to move on soon and i know it's fast but it is what it is like we ended on good terms which i think makes it a little bit easier it's not like it was anything bad or anything and whatever so it is what it is guys all right i am gonna go share some macarons with my familia and then i'm gonna have some cookie dough for a little bit and then i gotta figure out my clothes for the week and i gotta figure out meal prepping because i don't have no idea what i'm making yet but i might be making the orange ginger chicken that i have in my freezer from trader joe's because so good. It's always a great, great, great option.